As we turn then to the hyphial and hofal of first guttural verbs, you will note that in both the hyphial and hofal stems, there is a prefix before the first root letter, the he of hyphial or hofal. Because of that he, the first root letter is in a position where it would take a schwa. Unsurprisingly, according to the pattern we're now used to with first guttural verbs, in first gutturals, which are hyphial or hofal, that schwa will become a compound schwa. So for instance, in the hyphial perfect, we had hyktil, hyktila, hyktalta, hyktalt, hyktalti, hyktilu, hyktaltim, hyktaltin, hyktalnu. With amad, a first guttural verb, we have heemid, heemida, heemadta, heemad, heemadti, heemidu, heemadtim, heemadten, heemadnu. So the presence of the first guttural in a position where it would have in the typical paradigm gotten a schwa now has a compound schwa. The exact same thing happens in the hofal. In the hofal perfect of katal, we would have had hoktal, hoktala, hoktalta, hoktalt, hoktalti, hoktalu, hoktaltim, hoktaltin, hoktalnu. The exact same pattern is again followed with amad, excepting that the first guttural letter therefore requires a compound schwa. Ha'amad, ha'amda, ha'amadta, ha'amad, ha'amadti, ha'omdu, ha'amadtim, ha'amadtin, ha'amadnu. The exact same pattern follows in the imperfect. It's no longer the he of the hyphial or hofal perfect that precedes the first root letter, but it is the prefix of the paradigm itself. The exact same situation then occurs in the hyphial imperfect of katal or the hofal imperfect of katal. There would be a schwa under the kof, the first root letter. In this chapter, when the first root letter is a guttural, as in Ahmad, that will be a compound schwa. Ya'amid, ta'amid, ta'amid, ta'amidi, a'amid. Ya'amidu, ta'ameda, ta'amidu, ta'ameda, na'amid. The only difference, again, is a compound schwa under the first root letter instead of the typical schwa. The hofal, ya'amad, ta'amad, ta'amad, ta'amdi, a'amad, ya'amdu, ta'amadna, ta'amdu, ta'amadna, na'amad. As you see in the examples we just did, the compound schwa that's used for a first guttural verb in hyphial or hofal will typically follow a pattern. In the hyphial perfect, you typically will have an E-class vowel under the prefix followed by a hatef sagol. For instance, he emid. In the hyphal, hyphial imperfect, you will typically have an A-class vowel under the prefix, and then the reduced A-class vowel, the hatef patak, underneath the first root letter. For instance, ya amid. And then for both the hofal forms, you'll typically have the O-class vowel under the prefix, whether perfect or imperfect, and then the hatef comets, the reduced O-class vowel under the first root letter. This O is again typical of the hofal. So you have in the perfect, ha, a, mad, 
in the Hofall perfect. Or in the Hofall imperfect, you have Ya Ahmad. Again, in both cases here, you have a Hatef Kamatz, the O sound that is typical of the Hofall. These are, I should add, tendencies, not absolute rules. So you should expect this as a rule of thumb, but it is certainly possible for the language to have variations. The imperatives and infinitives and participles of Hifiel and Hofal first guttural verbs will show the same basic behavior. Consider these three examples, first a converted perfect, then a narrative, and then a participle. In 1 Kings 12.32, we have Vahe'emid el et kohenei habamot asher asa. So the main verb, Vahe'emid, is a hifiel converted perfect of Ahmad in the third masculine singular. He made stand, or he stationed, el ba in Bethel, et, marking the definite direct object, kohane habamot, a construct phrase, the priest's construct masculine singular of ha, definite article, bamot, high places, the priests of the high places, and then the text further describes those high places, asher, the relative pronoun, which, Asa, Cal perfect third masculine singular, he had made. Note that the first guttural of the Hifiel converted perfect has the compound schwa. In a similar fashion, Psalm 148.6, Vaya'amidem la'ad la'olam chok natan velo ya'avor. So in this case, we have two verbs which are first guttural. We begin with a hifiel narrative, third masculine singular of Ahmad, and it has a possessive, not a possessive, an object suffix, aim, and he placed them. Note that as a first guttural of the hifiel, you have a compound schwa under the ayin. So, and he placed them. La'ad olam, as a witness forever, or as a statute forever. Natan, he set, hulk, a statute, velo ya'avor, and it will not pass away. Now, a cal per imperfect, third masculine singular of avar, the first guttural verb, as a cal imperfect, it again has the first guttural in a position where it would take a schwa, and therefore you have a compound schwa. And then finally, from 1 Kings 22.35, Vahamelech haya ma'amad bamer kava. And the king was, and now the participle, hofal participle, masculine singular of Ahmad, being stood, or more properly in English, propped up in his chariot. In general, to identify hifiel and hofal forms of first guttural verbs, you only need to remember that the guttural prefers a compound schwa. In that situation, everything else you already know about identifying hifiels and hofals will be true, and you should easily be able to parse these forms.